Hey, what's going on here? I'm going to load my BIOS up and uh, give you some insight on my RAM timings. So, I got the Avexir RAM with the plasma tops, and it's a DDR3000, but you actually uh, need to run these at 2933. I don't know why, but that's, uh, that's the only way you're going to get it to run stable. And you're going to notice issues when you... Oops, I loaded Windows. When you do benchmarks, um, it'll freeze and you'll hear a lot of loud noise come out your speakers. Um, that's when you have a RAM issue. At least on Windows 10, that's what it seems to be. Restart so I can actually get into BIOS here. Um, but when it's a processor issue, it's normally just a blue screen. So if you are getting the, uh, the freeze where the whole screen just freezes up and you get lots of... Uh, whining noise coming out of your speakers that's probably your RAM timing is set differently so I'm gonna go in my BIOS here I'm gonna show you how I got my RAM set up I'm just doing this real quickly on my phone so you see 5 gigahertz 2933 on the RAM um, I have mine set to manual instead of XMP and all that stuff um, so I just put in my values manually um, Show you what I got here. Try to focus. Manual. Um, cores auto. Sync all the cores. I know this isn't the important part for you, but I'm going to show you all my stuff so you can get it. Um, I got my DRAM frequency to auto. Um, odd ratio enable. And then you can see my frequency there. I set it manually to 2933. I just picked my own speed. Um, so power save mode is off. I disabled this here because it's supposed to help. Um, now in in your uh, DRAM timing control, you need to go in here and uh, you need to select mode two. Um, mode two seems to run better than mode one. And you can see I got 16. 1836. Let's see if I can focus down here too. We got 8, 5, and 420. Everything else is on auto. Go a little slower here. We got uh, 10, 10, 33, 33. 5, 5, 13, 13. These are all my values, and I'm try to go slow so you can kind of see all my numbers here. But your board should pull up all the same stuff if you just use mode 2, especially if we have the same board. Um, I didn't have to enter in all these values. These just showed up uh, right away when I put mode 2 in. Um, and mode 2 is actually made for uh, RAM that's actually higher than 3000, but um, that works best for me, so I use mode 2. Um, go back, let me make sure there's not any other settings. So immediately you should just change it from mode 1 to mode 2, it should help you out. And then make sure you do your manual 2933. Um, because again, this was DDR3000, DDR4-3000, but it just won't run at that speed. So you actually need to clock it down to the 2933, and it'll be stable. Um, you can see I got my core limit here. This is processor related, but I'm just going to show you this anyways. To uh, max limit, so it'll draw as much as it needs. Uh, 45 multiplier here for the cache. Um, my core voltage is 1.3. Set it to manual also. Everything else is on auto, or it already has something. I also did uh, make sure that my DRAM voltage was set to 1.35 myself, um, because that's just the voltage it needs. I mean, it says it on there, on the website and everything, so I did 1.3 volts here even. So um, I guess for you, if you're not messing with your um, uh, overclock on your processor and you know that's stable, um, you need to come down here and change your RAM voltage to 1.35 even. 
you need to change your timing to mode 2. Um, so you need to make sure that your timing is set to mode 2 and that your frequency here is 2933 if you have the same DDR4-3000 sticks that I do. Um, yeah. Where's the timing control? Yeah, and then just go into DRAM timing again and change to mode 2. And this should fix your RAM issue. Um, again, there's two different kinds of freezes that you get. Um, if the RAM is causing the freeze, um, it's going to, the whole screen will still be on, but it's going to be frozen and it's going to have some kind of sound out of your speakers. If it's a, a processor crash, you're going to get a blue screen. So that's an easy way to tell if you're on Windows 10. Um, at least in my my case here, that's that's what I had. So um, hopefully this video, you know, help, was able to help you get your timing down. Um, but uh, yeah, I just did um, manual mode. There's even a mode in here. I forgot which one it is, but there's one where the motherboard will actually cl overclock your RAM for you. Um, specifically, the RAM. I think it's this one here, the extreme tweaking, or there's one of them. Uh, it's been a while since I've dug around in here, but uh, there's a mode in here that will auto um, adjust your RAM for what it thinks would be the best settings, and um, that's actually how I managed to find out that I needed a setting of 2933 to begin with, um, because I stumbled across it, and... Um, it auto adjusted it to 2933, which I thought was weird. So then I started playing with the 2933, and I was able to get it stable. Um, and that's when I found out basically that my RAM is not really 3000; it's more like 2933. So um, just a little tip there. Definitely want to double check that. Um, the sticker on the side of my Avexia RAM actually says DDR4 3000, but it just will not hit that number. Um, it can hit the number for a little while, but anytime randomly I'll have a crash, like just a system freeze. And that's why. And I haven't had one since um, doing these adjustments. So, anyways, um, I hope this helps you out. I'm going to try to cut it off here because I know I'm rambling. But uh, hopefully you can get yours situated. Um, if I can uh, play around in here and I find out where the auto-tune one is, uh, setting is in here. Um, I'll show you that too, but um, I can't remember at the moment, so I'll dig around a little bit and uh, throw that in. Okay, so here it is. It's actually called uh, TPU, and if you come down here, it says TPU automatically overclocks the CPU and the RAM to enhance performance. Um, so I did this, and it actually auto-clocked my RAM at 2933, and this is when I found out that um, that's what I need to run. So... Um, if you're unsure that even if for some reason that 2933 might not be right for you, you can run this TPU and it'll basically auto assess if uh, what your RAM should really be clocked at. So um, this this helped me out. I actually just was stumbled across this feature by mistake and uh, decided to try it out because I had spent so many hours tweaking settings. And uh, my problems all along were just my RAM was set just a little too high. So, um, yeah, from 3000 to 2933 um, caused instability issues. So, uh, definitely want to fix that if uh, that's what you're having also. So, uh, there it is. You can um, play around in your BIOS. You can save your profile in there. And uh, you can use this TPU here and see what it does to your RAM on its own. And uh, you can play around those settings because it'll it should get pretty much perfect settings for you, and then you you know what you need, and then you can uh, basically manually enter those, and then use your own uh, preferences for your CPU and all that stuff. So, anyways, hope this helps you out. Have a good one.